I have even more Dutch expressions that you will hear on a daily basis to share with you. And this lesson, you will learn them. Hallo lieve vrienden. So this is already part four of the common Dutch expressions. And these ones you will also hear on a daily basis. By the way, if you like this content, please like and subscribe so I can continue and bring you this fun content. Okay, so first one. Door de bomen het bos niet meer zien. So this means literally, because of the trees, I can't see the forest anymore or the woods. So this means you are giving too much attention to the details, which makes you lose sight of the big picture, right? So nowadays there's so much information on the internet, I'm losing the big picture. Tegenwoordig is er zoveel informatie op internet dat ik door de bomen het bos niet meer zie. Another one is als puntje bij paaltje komt. So I always thought this was a sexual reference. It means literally if the dot comes near the pole. So what this exactly means, if people say this, what they mean is when it comes down to it, right? So if I would say you're acting so tough, but when it comes down to it, you back off, right? So in Dutch that is, je doet wel zo stoer, maar als puntje bij paaltje komt, dan trek je je terug. Another one is voor wat hoort wat. That means Nothing is for free, right? So if you give something, you expect something back. It's not always very uh, wise to do this, but this is what the expression means. So if I would do you a favor and you feel you owe me something, then you could say, voor wat hoort wat. Another one is petje af, which means you take your hat off. So we don't use the word hat, which is hoot. For this expression, we use cap, right? So that is a pet. Petje is the diminished word as the Dutch always like to use, right? So you've done such a good job. I take my hat off for you. Je hebt zo'n goed werk afgeleverd. Petje af. Another one is eerlijkheid duurt het langst, which means honesty takes the longest. And this means that if you're not honest, at some point it will come out, right? It will be known that you haven't been honest. But if you are honest, that goes forever because the truth lasts forever, right? That's what it means. Another one that you hear very often is op de val rape, which means just in time. So if you ask, can I still add my comment? And um, the answer is, yes, you still can, but it's just in time. Then the question is, kan ik nog steeds mijn commentaar leveren? Ja, het kan nog net op de valreep. Another one is kind of a bit of a dark one. Is de een zijn dood is de ander zijn brood. And that means literally, one person's death is the other person's bread. Right, so that means that if one person falls away, then it leaves an opportunity for someone else to take his place. Another one is, wie het eerst komt, wie het eerst maalt. So this means literally, who comes first, gets the first meal, right? So maal means a meal. So basically, when this expression is used, it is to encourage people to come forward, right? Because then you will get the stuff. Another one is de laatste loodjes wegen het zwaarst, which means the last weights, they are the heaviest, right? Because you're tired. So this is usually uh, said when you are almost done with the job, right? So you're now the most tired of the entire time. So this is often said in that situation. De laatste loodjes wegen het zwaarst. And finally, You'll hear this very often as well. Iets onder de knie hebben. To have something below the knee. That is what it literally means. 
But what we mean with that is that you know it or you understand it. So if you are studying for something and you will ask someone if they already know it, you can ask, heb je de stof al onder de knie? All right. If you have some more expressions that you hear on a daily basis, please leave them in the comments and I'll see you in the next lesson.